back to the Wilderness Off-Road channel. And today we're going to be talking about the Amber Last Fit Light Bar. I'll be installing a 22 inch Amber Light Bar in the lower bumper of the Subaru Outback. And I'm going to be showing you a quick unboxing of it, the install, and then we'll get to some performance in the evening. If you guys are interested, check out the description for a link to the product. There should be a discount code down there as well. And uh, use it if you want to save some money. And let's hop right into the unboxing. All right, everyone. So getting into the unboxing here, this is the Last Fit 22 inch light bar in the amber color. It has a flood plus spot beam pattern. And we're just gonna unbox it here. I'm gonna show you what's included. And then we're gonna get right into the install on the Subaru Outback bumper. So just getting right into it here. Right away you have the light bar and then on either side here we have the bottom brackets and the side brackets and so obviously these brackets are the ones on the very ends of the light bar and then the bottom brackets uh, actually go on the back of the light bar anywhere in between um, and then it mounts on the bottom it kind of curves around the light bar and so you can pick the location of uh, this mount rather than having it on the ends so that's it for what's in the box and getting to the light going to be great on the Outback. All right, so as you can see, uh, maybe, hopefully the camera can pick this up, but there's different patterns inside this light bar that give you that flood and spot combo. And um, having an amber light bar mounted down low in the Super Outback bumper is going to really give you that um, great function during those uh, crappy weather days, whether it's snowy or foggy or whatnot. And of course, following all the road laws, um, I will definitely be using this when I can. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to use, you know, your high beams or just any other light bar, uh, white light bars when it's snowing, um, but it kind of blinds you. If it's snowing pretty hard, um, that white light just reflects off every single snowflake coming down and uh, it's actually really hard to see. So having something that's amber and really low hopefully will cut through all of that and uh, give you a little better um, vision on the road. So let's get this installed on the Outback and I'll show you a little bit of the process and how I'm going to wire it up. I do have the last fit wiring harness as well, and that'll just connect straight up to my uh, switch panel under the hood. So we're gonna get the bumper off the Outback, get this installed, and uh, we'll have some light tests at the end of the video here and show you the performance. So let's just hop right into it. All right guys, so I'm gonna be wanting to mount the new light bar down in this uh, section right down here. And to do that, I'm gonna have to take off the front bumper. And to do that, it's simply to take off um, six tabs under the hood, I think seven underneath the bumper, and then one on each side in, uh, inside the wheel well. So once I get those tabs undone, you gently pull on the bumper and it should pop off. And then you can disconnect the fog lights um, from there and then fully take off the bumper. And then we'll work on mounting the light bar and centering it uh, right, right inside that gap. 
All right, the bumper is completely removed now. As you can see right here is where I'm gonna be mounting the light bar. Um, I gotta go grab that real quick. We're gonna center it up, drill some holes and bolt it down. All right, so right now I'm working on centering the light bar, seeing if these side brackets are gonna work. I ended up um, reversing them to obviously get this tab inward because this 22 inch length fits just perfectly in between these bolting mounts on the bumper. Um, I think this will just work perfectly. And I mean, just in case though, I do have these which could obviously mount anywhere in between on the rear. But I think these side brackets are gonna work just fine. All right, so I got the two sides mounted down. Um, it's a little tricky, but I'm gonna show you <coughs> extremely lucky, but underneath where I mounted are all these holes or squares. And it just happened that both spots where I drilled are exactly inside one of these little square holes um, on both sides. So it's gonna be a little bit of a trick to tighten down totally, but just gotta take it one turn at a time and be patient, probably with a set of pliers and a wrench on top before tightening these side brackets down 100%. I'm gonna make sure the bar fits uh, and kind of have everything kind of loose and loosely mounted and then we'll uh, crank everything down all right so the bar is totally mounted in now um, it's very solid and shouldn't be going anywhere but now we have to get to a wiring and as many of you may or may not know I run a switch panel so I have right here the last fit uh, wiring harness, but like in my uh, last light bar install, I only needed a section of this. So we're gonna chop this up, get it to the right length, get it ran through the vehicle into the switch panel, um, and we'll test the light, make sure it turns on, but having a switch panel, like that makes it really easy to get wiring done. Uh, so this shouldn't take too long. I'm just gonna have to figure out where to zip tie the wire, but with the bumper off, it's it really shouldn't be too hard. Um, and then we'll have the privilege of trying to get everything back together. works perfect all right so since everything's working uh now we're just gonna do reverse order uh to get this bumper back on so i'm gonna bring the bumper up close i did actually have to cut the my grill lights <laughs> to uh get the bumper fully off so i'll have to rewire that as well no big deal uh but We'll get the bumper up close. We'll hook up both ends or both uh, fog lights back up, get the bumper snapped back in place and uh, get this all clipped back in and we should be good to go. The bumper is complete. I rewired my um, grill lights. Light bar still working. It barely comes through, just like just right under the license plate. So I think that is perfect. Um, the bumper was actually really easy to put back on. All the clips, simple. I was actually very shocked. Um, so the wiring's all ran. Ran back into the uh, second switch button. We'll get some night results later this evening. All right, I want to do all last fit lights that are mounted on this vehicle. 
The orange that you see right ahead are my grill lights. Let's start with the new bumper. There's amber. We're gonna go to the ditch lights, which are also last fit three inch pods off to the sides. Perfect. And now all three. You have a massive range in lighting. You got the distance and the width with the ditch lights. And it is absolutely blinding. Sheesh. Yes, it looks fantastic. Okay, we are driving with no light. Let's turn on the amber. Here we go. Big bar. Ditches. Woo! Amber and ditches. Let's get my regular headlights back on. Ditches off. Just amber and regular headlights. Amber off. Headlights off. Big bar. <laughs> regular on. Big bar off. Back to amber. Yeah. Now maybe I could aim it back down just a tad, but I think I kind of like it where it is, but it uh, seems pretty perfect to me. All right, guys, so that was the install and performance of the 22 inch last fit amber light bar. There are other sizes as well. Uh, if you're interested in it, check out the link down below. Uh, there should be a discount code for you guys as well if you wanna save some money. And uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of the light. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.